Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Nathan and today I'm gonna be opening up some mail. But today isn't just another P.O. Box Pulls unboxing. Today is a special unboxing because we got two letters, two packages, and some stuff also that I got for myself. But this is four different things that you guys have sent in the most of any P.O. Box video. So get yourself ready. So of course, what is in this and what will we get in today's video? Watch till then to see what's inside and of course subscribe if you're new. And of course, for today's video, you cannot forget Mr. Box Cutter, the most important of them all. Now, first, we're going to go for the smallest letter I have here today. Uh, this one coming from Las Vegas. So there you go. There's a little, there's a little car stamp right there. USA forever. All right. I like that message. I like that message, as you can probably tell. But let's get into this one right here. Uh, as I was checking this one, it's, it's definitely like really really tight on there but for today we got we got the we got the we got it we got some stuff in here pull it out we got so we got some paper okay okay i like this i like this uh thank you pay no it literally says it literally says thank you on on the on letter i like that um order total 195 Ooh. Ooh, so I, on the on the return address, it said Linda's stamps and such in Henderson, Nevada. So what it looks like here is a hockey stamp. And honestly, this thing is pretty freaking cool. Now it's encased in this little card thing, so I'm going to end up just slipping it out here. There we go. It's protected. It's good. But this is a Finland hockey stamp. Hopefully, if I get close to it, or close enough to it, it'll end up zooming in on it. Sometimes the camera can be stupid, sometimes it won't. You guys will see if it isn't, if it's good. But as you can see, you can see the Finnish hockey player there. And overall, I think this is just pretty awesome. I mean, it's just a stamp, but as you guys know, USA is my first favorite hockey team, and second is Team Finland. So even though I am a USA fan, this is still 100% grab approved. And of course, now we got the beautiful stamp rocking next to the Ranger stick. My boy Capo Caco always got to pay tribute to my man over there. But if you guys do want to send anything in and of course are interested, whether it be NHL merchandise or just anything, even just a letter, make sure you send it into B.O. Box 780, Gravity, Wiley, Texas, and the zip code being 75098. All the details, of course, will be in the description as well. But we got the second letter here to get to today. And this is one that I've been kind of, kind of anxious to get into because let me let me try if you guys can hear it. There's some there's something in there. There's something in there. I mean, I don't even know what at this point. But we'll get into the letter. Got to get my handy dandy uh, box cutter. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second. What is it called again? Yeah, a box cutter. Anyways, I'm a pleb. Let's rip this thing open and we should be good to go. There's a little bit pop. There's already a little bit of stuff popping off here, so I don't even know what's happening now. But we got some. We got some letters actually, so you'll see uh, what's in here. All right, here we go. All right, so the the thickness of this thing uh, seems to be enshrouded in some paper. So there we go. There we go. So nothing else in the letter, just to make sure. I'm just hoping. Uh, okay, there we go. Maybe you got. Maybe you guys can see inside there. Beautiful, Be <laughs> beautiful. Anyways, I feel. I feel. I. I'm, I haven't looked at what this is. Here, I'll give you guys. I'll give you guys a look right here. Look, see, look, see right now. And I'll just. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna open it right now. I'm just gonna. Whoa. What the. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what is this? What is this? Okay, so first and foremost, we got we got some mini Dallas Stars. Oh my goodness, isn't that just the cutest thing you have ever seen? Now the problem is that I don't even know where to put these things for the time being. I'm just gonna put them next to my star stuff. Uh, there we go, there we go, that, that works. That works for right now. Anyways, I got, I got some more Stars merch. You can never, never be sad about that, ever. Ever. I've never ever. So, 
We'll get into the two packages here today. We got the two letters down, and then we got one package to go. And I was looking at this thing, so I, I went to the P.O. Box, right? I, it was a couple of days ago. And this, I, I went there and all four of these things came out. The letters, the packages, and everything. And I, I was p taking it all out, the letters at least, and I kept finding stuff. And this thing kind of just popped out of there. And it just, it was just there inside like the newspapers and stuff. Um, but honestly, like I was just looking at this package because it's coming from, I don't, I don't even, I don't even know where. Like, <laughs> I, I don't even know where it's coming from. Um... Yeah, I think it, I think it, so on the top it says China Post, so it's coming from China, uh, which is always a fantastic sign, I must say, uh, but we got, we got a little bit of packaging, we got a little packaging to get up right here. So, without further ado, there we go, let me just, for extra measure, do not point the box cutter at yourselves, kids, that is a great tip, but before I look into this too much, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let you guys get a good look here. I have no idea what is inside this here. Just just look. Look and behold. <laughs> no way. No. No way. Bro, I got sent. I don't know, I don't know if these are the SpongeBob ones, bro, but I got sent the friggin' burger candy. Not gonna lie, this might be the best thing I have ever received. And I know and no, I I'm I'm actually not kidding. I'm not gonna lie, this is just like the weirdest thing ever of all time. <laughs> Again, I, I don't know, I don't know what kind of like cars, planes, rip-off cartoon character that's supposed to be on the front, but bro, it don't matter. It don't matter, because I'm still gonna go, I'm still gonna eat it, even if it might kill me, I'm still gonna eat it. And I'm just now looking, and it says that the expiry date was October 10th of last year. So that just makes me want to eat it more. I mean, come on, come on. But there you go, you got the burger itself, you got the bun. Then the tomato, Ugh. then the, <laughs> mm. uh, then then the veg veggies, and then you got the top burger. Um, can we? Oh, there we go. There we go. Look at this. Look at look at this. You know, it is two months expired, and you know I always risk the chance of dying. Um, but you know you gotta you gotta take the chance, bro. You got you got you got the amazing. Um, I don't even, I can't, pickles, I can't even talk right now. Uh, but yeah, it is three months expired, but I, 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 I was sent these. I have to eat them, okay? It, it's not a choice. It's not a choice, man. So, here goes nothing. Mmm. Mmm. It definitely tastes like it's three months expired. It definitely tastes like it came from China. It just, it just tastes like candy. Ugh. But I, it doesn't taste like any candy I want to eat, that's for sure. I mean, come on, bro. You have to eat it all. My bun! My bun, bro. Now it's on the floor. Five second rule, obviously. Anyways, this was a pretty bad mistake. Whoever sent these, I still appreciate it, but I shouldn't have eat these. Why? Why did I make that? Why? Why do I? Why do I do this to myself? Okay. Anyways, I'm I'm probably gonna have to eat this for like five more minutes, bro. Moving on. We got one more thing to unbox here today: the behemoth, the fragile, the amazing last package. This coming from Nikal who has contacted me saying he'll send this in. All I know is that it is Canada related, him coming from Quebec, so I would assume so. But we got a big package to unbox and this is the huge mama. This is the behemoth. So let's get right into it. And I've said in videos in the past for like rankings going to number one, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. But this is the moment that I've been waiting for, man. I've been waiting for this thing to come and I've been waiting to actually get to it. So we're now gonna get right into it. Gonna go right here. Again, do not cut your towards yourself, kids. I am stupid and do not be like me, okay? Don't ever try it. But we got some packages to unbox, so let's go. All right. Here you go. I still have that candy in my mouth, by the way. If I'm, if I'm just a little bit slow to talk, I still have that in my mouth. But we have a bag. 
I like it. Now I'm gonna go inside the bag and basically take the first thing that I feel. I'm gonna take out this. Woo, we got a hat. We got a Team Canada hat, if you guys know. I do not have uh, an, on a, I don't even have a Team USA hat, so. The elite company here. This is a Nike uh, 2015 World Junior Championships. Uh, Canada on the back. I uh, see the Team Canada logo in the back, but you also have the front 100 years of Team Canada, the, team, the 100 year anniversary logo there. 2014 to 2015, or 20, 2014 to 2014. That'd be pretty cool. 10th, uh, 12, oh, 10th, 100th anniversary. I cannot talk. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I've been sent this hat, so I need to put it on, obviously. And, you know, even as a person who does not like Team Canada all that much, I will accept this hat. It is still friggin' sweet, and you know, you have to add it to your collection, man. Let's do it. And it's also the perfect size, and it works well, and we are good. Let's do this thing. So I'm gonna have to retire the Habs hat right now. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I still love you, though. I still love you. Keep doing your thing. Keep doing your thing. Anyways, I'll do it once again for the rest of this bag here. We still got some more weight to it. Let me see what's in here. Oh, no, you didn't. No, you didn't, McKay. Oh, I think I feel a jersey. I, I think. I think. I'm going to pull. I, I, whatever I'm feeling right now, I'm going to pull it out. Three, two, I'll also, don't put that clip out of context. Do not do it. Don't you even think about it. <laughs> Whatever I'm feeling, I'm gonna pull it out right now. Ooh, anyways, I'm gonna pull it out right now. Three, two, one. I'm looking away, I'm looking away. Oh my goodness. Oh my good. what the heck? No, what is this? What is this? All I can see is this right here. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, Oh my, what the, I, I, I'm not confused, I'm just, oh my goodness. <laughs> I have never seen this jersey before, actually. You got the Canada on the front, and then you have the three Maple Leafs. This is an IHF jersey, uh, as you can see on the bottom, I'll, I'll get the logo up here. So yeah, there you go, there you go, right there, IHF on the bottom. Um, no player on the back, but that's still friggin' uh, insane. You got the Team Canada patches on the side. You got, of course, the collar there. This is a size small, just like I like it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I don't know which year this is. This is a Nike jersey, so it'd probably be... I think Nike still does not I'll have to recheck that. But I've never seen this jersey before, actually. It, it's, it's pretty friggin' sweet, though. I actually, I actually dig it. I'm still a USA fan. Always will be. But this is kind of amazing, just saying. Now I did some research to find out what this jersey was all about, and it turns out that it's the 2012 World Juniors third jersey for Team Canada. And obviously I was too young at that point, I didn't even, I barely knew what hockey was at that point, so I wouldn't know which jersey Team Canada was really wearing. But I actually also found out that on the bottom here, the patterns, these are the logos of the first 15 World Juniors that Canada won gold in. I'm not sure if they have different patterns on the other side, but it's just a lot of detail and a lot of fantastic ones on this. Of course, a lot of the detail, it's more of a retro throwback third jersey, and they wore it pretty pretty much a lot in that World Juniors, and I, I could see why, because it's a pretty friggin' sweet one. Just everything that goes into this one I think is awesome. It's my first jersey that's from the IAHF. I have the USA and the Canada jerseys, but both of those are from the 2018 Olympics. But this jersey is just sweet from top to bottom. And Mikhail, thanks so much for this map. And of course, if I get a jersey, I have to wear it. Even if this thing is like the price of Queen Elizabeth, I still need to wear it in some capacity, at least in this video. I'll probably end up, um, probably end up like taking care of it quite a bit. But yes, here you go, here you go. Me wearing Canada jersey, that is a rare sight, just saying. Just saying, you might, you might as well revel in it while you can, because it ain't gonna last too long. But yeah, honestly, this thing is just nice. Everything about it just feels good. It's good, clean look. Nike did a good job with this too. But I, I appreciate just all the heritage that's in this jersey, and of course the hat too. Mikhail, absolutely amazing. 
Thanks so much for this, man. It, 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 it's insane. It's insane. Not even just the hat, just everything about it. Thanks so much, man. I appreciate it. And thanks so much to anybody that sent in stuff. And even if you're watching this video, thanks so much for tuning in. This has been an awesome P.O. Box. And wait, wait, I got one more thing. One more thing I want to show. It's not something that came in the P.O. Box, but it's something I ended up getting. I'm not sure if it'll show up on the camera, but I got this whole banner from the Winter Classic. This isn't from Winter Classic, but this is just something they sold. It's basically a full view of the whole stadium. I don't know how I'm going to make this uh, framed, but I probably will at some point. It is a big, big boy. So yeah, that was the thing I ended up getting, and to me, it's pretty freaking sweet. But honestly, this video has been insane. Thanks so much everybody for watching, and of course, if you sent something in, an even bigger thank you, except for the person who sent in the candy hamburgers, I hate you officially. Just kidding, just kidding. I love them in an own little special way. But with that, that'll be it for today, boys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Of course, if you want to send something in, the description will have all the details for you. If you want to send in something from the next P.O. Box polls, go there as well. Share this video with your friends. Get the word out there about this crazy, ultimate hockey unboxing. Of course, comment down below your thoughts on the stuff we got here today and what you think of it. My name's Nathan, and I'll see you on the next video or stream. Goodbye.